Holly is going to stay here. That way I can keep my eye on her. You know what they say? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Right, Olivia? Hmm. Ah. Miss Reed, so nice of you to join us. <laughs> you may go. Why have I been brought here? Well, I thought you might like to drop off your luggage before you resume your smuggling career. We <laughs> saved some brunch for you. I have no intention of staying in this place. Oh, Olivia will be disappointed. It's very, very comfortable here. For the modest home of a sadistic, two-bit, no-good dictator wuss. You ratted me I out. felt he should know the score. Edmund didn't take it personally. Hmm. He should have. You really don't know him, Holly. Well, perhaps this will give me the opportunity to change Ms. Reed's opinion of me. Or confirm it. I accept the challenge. Do you? You won't censor me. Can you put aside your preconceptions? I don't know. Well, I like an honest woman. I like an honest man. That leaves you out. Now, now, preconception. All I ask is that you write what you see and hear, not others' opinions. Oh, you're taking a very big chance. Well, then that's the first thing you can write. I have courage. I guarantee you will not find fault with Olivia's plan to refurbish our harbor area. It is brilliant. You haven't seen it yet. I have intuited its brilliance. You're so full of bull. <laughs> there is always some truth in bull, Miss Reed. You just have to find it. Yeah, but it means wading through so much muck. Well, I suppose that's why they call some journalists muckrakers. <clears throat> How about we give back to the harbor plan? Yes, in just a few short building seasons, San Cristobal will be transformed into a tourist mecca, all thanks to Mrs. Lewis and company. It will be an island paradise. And I want to share it with the world. As long as they don't videotape His Royal Highness in a fit of pique. We all have our bad days. Do you really? Well, I've never kidnapped a bus full of school children. bad moments. Uh, at least some of us learn from our mistakes. Exactly. I think I need to unpack. Well, I have put you in the room next to Olivia, and you will find it filled with Mrs. Rice's goodies. Just in case. <clears throat> you know what, Holly? I will show you the way. to do business or anything else with that smarmy con man. That smarmy con man is going to make Josh very rich, which oh. will keep him too busy to stew about things he can't change, which aren't his problem anymore. So that's your motive? Yours is you're going to get an inside scoop on a very powerful, very complicated man. Oh, so I should just get smart and behave myself. You said it. I didn't. Oh. Come on, Holly. When you get back to the stage, you can, you can file any story you please. Yeah, maybe if I give him enough rope, he'll hang himself. <sighs> Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything to ruin your little pet project here. How's it going, by the way? It's in the bag. Oh, God. Can't get away from her, can you? Oh, you know what? I wish... I, 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 I want to persuade Edmund to put this thing in the attic. Well, you could probably persuade just about any of them around here to do anything you like. Yeah, except Josh. Maybe that's why I love him so much. I love. Well, I've never been able to figure that one out. Which is why I steer clear of it. Ha. Uh, famous last words. Mm -hmm. This is the first the press will hear of this project. The tone we set is extremely important, so I made the press kit a real wow. We have a mission statement. We have the history of the harbor. We have the history of Lewis, me personally, uh, maps of the area with overlays showing the progression of development, and six artist renderings of the finished product. Wow. And you put this all together in 48 hours? I had some of it prepared in advance. Before you knew I was on board? And Richard chose Reva and Cassie over you. More proof he's impaired. Edmund, I thought that uh, you should speak first, you know, give the bulk of the presentation, and then I'll make a brief statement saying how delighted Lewis is to be on board such an exciting and worthwhile project and so forth, and then we would both field questions. Does that sound good? 
I must say, I am looking forward to this. So far, I've been nothing but the bearer of bad news. I'd like to tell the people something positive. Something to take their minds off Richard and rebellion. But personally, it won't make out so badly. I mean, in terms of all the goodwill this project will generate. Olivia, I trust I don't have to remind you that our arrangement is... Just between us. If any of this were to leak out, it would be... Mutual suicide. Mm. Yesterday, I was reminded that Holly Reed is a very tenacious reporter, and she's also your close friend. One thing has nothing to do with the other, Edmund. Well, I dare say Ms. Reed would agree with you on that, which is why I warn you, Olivia. Stay very clear of her. Be very careful around her. Excuse me. What do you have for me? The teams have just completed a search of the last quadrant, Your Highness. They've covered the entire island now. And the Winslows continue to elude them? How is that humanly possible? Uh, we've picked up the former prince and princess's trail a number of times. And they keep slipping away. At one location, they abandoned all their supplies, which means they're now without food, water, or blankets. And the summons taken them in. Tell General Hodges to start all over again. He has to research all the quadrants. And he has to be especially thorough when he interviews Richard's supporters. I guarantee you someone's hiding him. I'll tell him right away, Your Highness. We have to keep the pressure on Richard and Cassie. They cannot be allowed to leave the island. Fabulous presentation, Olivia. Hello, stranger. Grab a cup of coffee and take a sneak peek at this press kit. Mm, don't mind if I do. I hope you had a restful night, Ms. Reed. Oh, yes. I adore being surrounded by armed guards while I sleep. It's so reassuring. Well, that was my intention. I'm hopeful that the political agitation will diminish after the coronation. These protective measures won't be necessary. Ah, uh, I bet you are. Excuse me. I'm going to make some final preparations for the press conference. Can you join me? I'd be delighted to. See you two later. I never should have agreed to stay here. Being nice to the prince is trying to the point of exhaustion. But it alleviate your fatigue if I repeated myself and told you how incredibly grateful I am that you're covering the story. Couldn't hurt. In a positive angle, because that's what you promised you would do. Mm -mm. I promise to be fair in my coverage of the coronation and your project. But don't expect me to give Edmund a free ride. You're not gonna purposely undercut him, right? Not unless he makes it so easy I can't possibly resist. Holly! What is the matter with you? Would you relax? I've never seen you so up. You know how important this deal is for me. I'm not going to do a hatchet job on Edmund, but I will ask questions, and please don't try and influence me otherwise. Why are you being so stubborn and difficult about this? This project is a really good thing. I never said it wasn't. Zach Crystal's economy is horribly depressed. As its citizens must be, considering they are led by that. Oh, you know what? Increased tourism is the only way to get more revenue to this country. It's the only way to fund essential services like, like roads and schools and hospitals. This project will accomplish that and so much more. Not to mention polishing the tarnished image of Edmund. Oh, paradox. How something can be so good, yet so wrong. It's a hard concept to fathom, but fathom it we must. Don't worry. When I write the article about your project, I will give it its due. And you won't make waves at the press conference? On the contrary, I plan to give Edmund hell. Your Highness, one more with you and Mrs. Lewis? Oh, of course. And one with Mrs. LeMay. Of course. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, I think that went very well. It really did. Your opening remarks were perfection. You. So was your ability to dodge my question. I did my best to address your concerns, Miss Reed, in a limited time frame. There's time now? You know, you really are a terrier. You need to lighten up. Who would like champagne? In a moment, the last thing I want is a reputation for me to be late in the press. Too late. So, uh, by all means, fire away. Give me your best Evan, shot. you don't have to do this. On the record. Would you have it any other way? The Harbor Development Project, what do you expect to gain? Gain. Personally. Could you be more specific? In part, isn't your motivation to win over the opposition? 
to buy them out, so to speak. My intention is to do something positive for San Cristobal, to strengthen her economy and improve her standard of living. And I think most people, including yourself, would have to agree that that is not only a noble cause, but it is indeed my job, no matter the opposition or how I came to the throne. Most people don't think you should be on the throne. Your half-brother, for instance. Richard is entitled to his opinion, even though in mine it is hopelessly misguided. Because he thinks those in government should serve the people rather than themselves. Or because clearly he has his own agenda in the matter, forged in part, at least, by past misunderstandings and his deep resentment of me. If Richard truly loves San Cristobal, why did he so purposefully plunge her into chaos, chaos from which I must now extricate her? 